Hello, hello, friends. I have a special treat for you. I have a live coaching snippet that I'm going to share with you from my program. It's called Metabolic Mastery After 40. I'm going to be covering a recurrent theme with my client that so many of my other clients have, and it's around how to maintain weight loss in the long term, how to make weight loss sustainable. So I want you to listen as I coach my client to challenge her mindset so she can stay on track and not revert back to her old patterns and so she can implement healthy habits for the long term, which is what she really, really wants. So I just thought I'd give you a little VIP access ticket to come in and listen to how it goes down inside of my program. And also, I want you to be encouraged to take notes and ask yourself the question, how does this apply to me? So this isn't just listening to the coaching call, but really taking the advice that I'm offering her and implement it for you. And if you're wondering ever since you turned 40, how the woman looking back at you in the mirror is actually you. And if you're continuing to Google how to lose weight in your 40s and get completely overwhelmed with all the recommendations that pop up, I want you to know that you're not alone. I've been there and I know it's confusing, but after 10 years of working with clients, helping them to transform their bodies and their health after 40, I'm ready to help you too. If you want a step-by-step guide for looking and feeling like yourself again with personal recommendations for what exercises to do, what foods you should be eating, and what stressors you should be avoiding, I want you to book a free call with me. It's a limited time complimentary call where we'll spend 30 minutes together creating a roadmap designed for you so you can start building healthy habits for a better you. The link and all the information is in the show notes. I cannot wait to chat with you. Do you feel unrecognizable since hitting your 40s? Is losing those stubborn five to 10 pounds despite your best efforts a constant struggle? Are you always tired, bloated, and relying on caffeine or sugar to get you through the 3 p.m. slump? In this podcast, you're going to find practical tools to shed weight, regain your energy, and feel like yourself again as you navigate your 40s and beyond. Hi, I'm Lara, a registered holistic nutritionist and life coach with over 10 years of experience helping women achieve their health and weight loss goals. Get ready to learn how your hormones and metabolism are shifting and be equipped with simple nutrition, exercise, and stress management tools so you can navigate peri and postmenopause with confidence and vitality. Now go grab your infused water because it's time to dive in. Tell me what's going on. How have you been? Yeah, so like this week's been a little bit up and down because I I stepped on the scale on Sunday and I noticed that I've been down seven pounds and now I'm kind of getting complacent with it, right? It's like, yeah, now I know what to do. So it's not a big deal if I have the chocolate today or if I have an ice cream because I know that I can can lose the weight. But I'm trying not to fall back into those old cycles because... um, I want this to continue, right? And this is what I've done in the past. It's like I've started it, I've implemented the change and then I see changes and then the old habits start to creep back in because it's like, oh, okay, I know what to do. I can do it. I just, I don't need to be as diligent. Out, yeah, as I was before. And yeah. so that's what I'm trying to avoid right now. Okay. So it could go two ways. So... There is a pattern that we're somehow addicted to. Like, I don't know if you've experienced this in the past, but I see this personally. I've seen this personally for me. I see it as a pattern in clients. Somehow we're addicted to the weight loss process. Like there's a kind of like, you know, project work at work, right? You, you work hard, you get it done. And then there's like a, there's a feeling of like, right. And then the next project comes and it's the same thing is, so we like, we like to see results. So, and we like starts and ends. So part of, part of what you have to be cautious and aware of is, are you, are you um, 
It's like you have a choice to make and it's a critical choice because the choice that you make rewires this pattern in you and it will, um, it, you'll reap it tenfold throughout your life if you can break this thought pattern of I was on this thing, I worked really hard, it was, it was six weeks of diligence and consistency and small changes and wins, now the weight's coming off. And I have a choice here. Am I going to choose to give in to my old patterns and agreements and like the start and stop? Or am I going to change this and change it for my lifetime? Okay, yeah. so it's a critical point. And I, I think it's good to be aware of the gravity. Like, I don't want to dramatize it, right? It's just weight. It's, it's like not. But man, you've been, you've made changes that you have been hard for you for your entire life. Yeah. And you did it. You did <laughs> like, it. And you did it so well and so consistently. And so I want us to just kind of stop. And so it could go two ways. The one way is you stay where you're at and then you continue to do the start and stops. We're not going to do that. And the second thing is, now we stop, we need to recognize that there is this pattern that you usually do. And now we want to change that pattern. And how do we do that? We're gonna just we're gonna do it together. So you're gonna tell me, what does it feel like to have done this consistently for six weeks? Emotionally, physically, what are some of the things that you've experienced? Tell me. I mean, it it just feels good overall. Cause like for one, like I tried on something that I knew was small for me and I tried it on and I was like, huh, I mean, it's still not perfect, but it's way better than it was before. Right. And that's a good feeling, right? It's like, I, I'm, I'm happy with what I'm seeing when I look in the mirror kind of thing. And there's still that little voice in your head that's saying, oh, but you still have ways to go, but I'm, I'm trying, it's true. I do, but I'm also trying to as you say, live in the moment of like, yeah, I, I I did this. And so the way I'm trying to break the pattern is like, yeah, I'm appreciating what I've done, how I feel. And I'm like, think about how much better that's going to feel if I keep, if I keep doing this. So it's almost like, um, as in with your project, with your project um example, it's almost as if I'm starting a new project. It's like, okay, I, I finished this beginning mode. Now I'm going to step it up a little bit and have another six weeks and let, let's see what I can do really? for the next six weeks. So that's kind of how I'm approaching it because I do like the feeling. I like, I have more energy. The moving is like automatic for me now. Usually I wake up in the morning and be like, I don't want to work out. And it'd be like a million excuses as to why I don't want to do it. Now it's like, I just get up and do it. Now the argument is, okay, which workout am I going to do this morning? Is it, am I going to mm -hmm. walk? Am I where am I going to go? So that's kind of like the conversations I'm having with myself now. And, and I really like that. It's much better than the, oh, I don't want to do this attitude. Right. So, so I like the, those, that's what I'm feeling. And I like that feeling and I want to keep that feeling. So mm -hmm. even though, yes, I did enjoy the chocolate and I did it. <laughs> I'm going to remember that <laughs> I can have it this one time. I can have it this one time. I can enjoy it. It's fine, but just don't fall into my patterns of having it all the time or over yeah. when I so that's kind of like the small changes that I'm noticing. And I want to, I want to keep, keep doing that. Yeah. I love it. I love it. So you're already doing it. So you're just, that's where you're just going to stay. So when you fall into this pattern, like if you feel yourself falling back into that pattern, because you're going to do this six weeks and six weeks and whatever you're, you're choosing to do, right? Whatever this is working for you. At some point, you're going to hit your goal, your yeah. weight goal, your size, whatever, your goal, your body composition goal, your strength goal, whatever your goal is, you're going to hit it. And that's going to be a very critical point because like the, the way that you're thinking about it is amazing, but it's still batches of time, right? <laughs> and so once you hit your overall goal, we're going to have to be very aware and cognizant of the thoughts that start to creep in. So you're going to have to continue to, one, live in and remind yourself of really the, the work that you did to get here, right? So you don't undo it. 
um, two, continue to remind yourself of this feeling of, man, it feels good. It feels good to have so much energy. It feels yeah. really good to crave movement. It feels good. And you're going to want to just continue to stay there and remind yourself so you don't fall into, because it's a, it's not you, you, you've trained, essentially, we've trained our brains to just want to stick in this pattern. So you're going to have to, with awareness, retrain it. And the way you do it is through action and through reminding yourself that, yeah, I could have the chocolate like you did. Totally. But I'm not going to have it every day. It's it doesn't, you know, and I'm not going to skip my workout because, you know, it it feels really good to do it. So it's just this awareness that we have to live with and we'll attack it once we get there. But um, it's yeah. So you're doing the right things. But we we like you have to be just very aware of who you are and some of the patterns that, you know, like to creep back in. Yeah. 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 Okay. That makes, that makes That's sense. good. Thank you for listening. Join me each Wednesday and Friday for a fresh episode of the Mastery Metabolism Over 40 podcast. And if you're looking for additional resources to help you navigate this peri and postmenopausal journey, head to nutritionherway.com for free recipes, resources, and a supportive community of women going through this journey just like you. And if you found this episode helpful, others will too. I would love, love, love it if you can leave a podcast review. It's truly the number one way you can thank me and it grows this show, getting this podcast in front of other women just like you who want to learn how to navigate this peri and postmenopausal journey. Signing off in love and health.